It's a brand new year and time for resolutions. And we have two teams here tonight in our high school sports TV live game of the week who have a resolution to climb up the ladder in the Commonwealth Division of the Mid-10 Conference. Hey, welcome this evening. It's High School Sports Live TV, and we're proud to present Central Dauphin East with a record of 3-2, and 2-1 two, two and in the Commonwealth against Chambersburg. Home standing here tonight, 6-3 and three overall, 2-1 and one in the Commonwealth. And tonight's broadcast brought to you by the Pennsylvania Housing Finance Agency and f and Trust Bank all here on Fox 43.2. Gary Sutton with you, Kirk Smallwood, the coach, and Jeff Thompson, the coach, alongside of me. And guys, we're high atop Chambersburg High School here tonight, one of the most beautiful gymnasiums probably in the whole league. But we're ready for a great game here tonight. Two teams have been here, two and one in the Commonwealth, looking to move up. Both teams tie for third right now. And we start out with CD East here tonight, a team that uh, is doesn't score a whole lot of points a game, but they're grinders. They've always been grinders. A brand new coach here in Coach uh, Ryan Hill. And talk to us a little bit, of Jeff, about this team tonight. We start with Thurston Wells. Well, Thurston Wells is their anchor. He's a big guy, about 6'3", six, 6'4". Six, he can take his game outside, but they need him inside. They need him protecting the rim and rebound, and he can do that very well. I was very impressed with his leadership in a couple of their victories. But they also have, they have a, a stable of, of experienced players coming back, but they have a ninth grader coming in that I'm excited to watch. He doesn't start. Uh, his last name is Cooper, and he's number one, and he'll be a lot of fun to watch. Coach, on the other side, we have a guy you've coached against a few times over the years, Sean Sheffley. He's been there forever, 24 years. He's 6-3, and 2-1 and one in the division, but he's got a kid who's been playing well for him the last couple of years, Jacob Bassett, who could really make him go. But they've also got another guy, J.J. Kelly, and he's a guy that's filling it up right now at 18 a game. J.J. is getting 18 points a game. He's their second leading rebounder, and he's only a sophomore. Also, they have Jacob Bassett from... Uh, Penn State Mount Alto recruit. He's a senior. The assist leader is Carter Vogel and John Tavius, uh, excuse me, Cedric Vassal is their leading rebounder. He's a 6'4 senior. Should be an interesting game tonight. This team averages 53 points a game, only gives up 46. That's by design. You and I have talked about that. Also, on the other side, 55 points a game for the CD East team. They give about 50 a game. So it's going to be an interesting matchup here tonight to see who can put some points on the board. We already know both play good defense, and you're going to watch it all right here on High School Sports Live TV on Fox 43.2. More choices. More laughter. More time to play. And less need to worry. At Capital Blue Cross, we're driven by a simple goal to go the extra mile for you through all of life's ups and downs and to always be there when you need us. Capital Blue Cross, going the extra mile for you. Groff Tractor is your full line equipment dealer representing Case Construction and many other leading brands, serving the total sales, rentals, parts, and service needs of its customer. Students, begin your professional journey in a high demand field with Groff Tractor. Contact us today to discover the power of our technician internship programs. Groff Tractor also offers scheduled maintenance along with 24 7 emergency service. Groff Tractor is your number one source for everything under construction. The Jet Giambabbo family of dealerships. Nine great franchises in five locations. Buick GMC, Hyundai, Genesis of York, Stetler Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram, Giambabbo Hyundai of Hanover, and our newest dealership, Jack Giambabbo Mazda. The Giambabbo family of dealerships. Over 30 million in new and pre-owned inventory. With a reputation for quality service after the sale, Giambabbo is proud to serve your community. Find out why. The Jack Giambabbo family of dealerships. Five great locations. Online at giambabbo.com. So a while back, I thought to myself, I'm never gonna own a home. I'm gonna have to rent forever. I didn't have money for a down payment. I had no credit history and I just got out of a divorce. But PHFA showed me that home ownership is possible. They offer me a low interest mortgage and a way to manage the closing cost. To me, this is more than just my home. It's a huge accomplishment and a new chapter in my life, thanks to PHFA. Everybody knows Hoffman has it. Did you know Hoffman has even more? There's the fully stocked Hoffman Ford Parts and Accessories Department, the Hoffman state-of-the-art collision facility, confidence in our ultra-modern service facility, peace of mind with master technicians, satisfaction with low prices. Do I really need to say it again? Hoffman has it. Only at Hoffman Ford, Colonial Park. Hoffman Ford, just what you're looking for. Hoffman has it. 
welcome back to Chambersburg High School here in Chambersburg, Pennsylvania. Tonight's Big Ten Commonwealth matchup. And man, we got a good one here tonight. It's going to be uh, six and three Central Dolphin, six and three Chambersburg against uh, Central Dolphin, three and two. But both are two and one right now in the Commonwealth. Uh, of the mid pen division and I'll tell you what uh, they're introducing the lineups right now We'll get the starting lineups as well here in just a moment up on the screen your officials for the night are Barry Shipley uh, Terry Maloney and Tim Del Jonathan. They'll be officiating the ball game here tonight in Chambersburg our first game of the new year and uh, We'll take a look at our starting lineups first of all uh, for Central Dolphin East Terrence Copley Jackson Eli Vega Josiah Stanley Anthony Stevens and Thurston Wells averaging 11 points a game leading score for them on the other side for the Chambersburg Trojans again coming with a record of six and three you got Jacob Bassett he makes him go with the point guard spot averaging 11.1 points a game and then JJ Kelly down there the guard forward combo 18 points a game and Fogel Jones and Vesa Vesa the leading rebounder in seven a game so should be a good one here tonight we're ready to tip this one off and let's get it underway and controlling the tap is Chambersburg right away there's Bassett with the basketball and Bassam wanted the foul, but uh, you got to put the shot up there, don't you, Coach? Yes. Uh, usually with a Sean Schreffler offense, you're going to see more ball movement, more body movement, but uh, I'm sure Coach isn't happy with that uh, start. 24 years, a record of 357, 227, Sean Scheffler. On the other side, a brand new coach, Ryan Hill, with a record of 3-2 and two so far in his young career. Yes, those East High Panthers, they're going to come to play. One four high, and they kind of cross the guards there. Looking for the post up inside. You're going to get a foul called right away. Foul marked up on Cardinal Fogel. That'll be his first, team first, against Chambersburg. No shot in the place. The ball be inbounded underneath. Coach Anthony Stevens is a little undersized, but he plays inside, and he does a pretty good job. He fights the position. Good inbound look there. Nice move to basket up, not going to go off the hands of Terrence Copley Jackson. Very quickly, Bassett to the other end. Bassett kicks it back out right away. Strong move to the basket, not going to go. Rebound by Chambersburg, knocked away. Here comes Central Dolphin East. Going to get a charge called. Kind of a touch foul there, really, but uh, the foul's going to be called on Copley Jackson. That'll be his first. Team first for the Panthers. It looks like that's. One of the stalwarts of the East High program penetrate, kick it to a guy in the corner. Looks like a pretty Chambers nice play. Both teams playing man to man starting out tonight, Coach. Yes. That little Coach, high screen out there. Coach Scheffler wants to keep it in the 40s, no more than 50. You know, he's going to play very deliberate and uh, he's going to expect his kids to make shots. So the wild scoring, the on a wild scoring spree this year, 53.3 a game, right? Yes. They only give up 46.8. They are stingy. Yeah, they're going to play defense. That's how you get on the floor for coach. There's your kick again. Then hard drive the basket. Dump it off baseline. Shot is up and good from the far side. And a nice touch there by Josiah Stanley. He averages five points a game. He's got the first deuce tonight here for the Panthers. That's a nice looking shot. Good form. On the other side, missed by Chambersburg again. Fighting to get the ball inside. We'll kick it back out. Fassad with that rebound. Something he's very good at doing. This is one of Chambersburg's sets. Let's see what they're doing here. A little UCLA cut and then a pick and roll. And there goes Bossom. And Bossom is able to get in there. And he just kind of worms his way through very well. His first deuce of the night. That's the PSU Mount Alto recruit. Not too far from here is Mount Alto, right? He's just going right down the street. Different uniform. How about that? The bank's open right there as Copley Jackson nails one. Copley Jackson. Boy, is he very athletic. Excellent football player. Plays almost every position on the field. Here's J.J. Kelly. He averages 18 a game for this club. Watch his number tonight. We're going to talk about that number he's wearing, too. There's Bossman. Bossman gets going. He can be hot for a long time. He's got his first lead. He's got all five points so far for the Trojans. They're going to call Jackson here, or Kelly rather, for a foul. Bossman's getting them off to a good start. He's taking good shots and he's knocking it in. His first team second here in the first quarter, a new man into the game. It's going to be Jermere Jones for Chambersburg. Jameer Jones is a 6'5 junior. Takeaway here. 
Back off to Boston. He runs the show here for the Chambersburg Trojans. Again, Chambersburg's going to be very, very deliberate until they get what they want. Watch Kelly here. Boston not adverse to letting it go. Almost got the bank shot there. Not going to go. Rebound goes out to the Panthers. Looks like Boston has the green light tonight. Penetrating kick, off. kick. Good kick off the front of the iron. Picked off again by Copley Jackson, who's really alive in there tonight, but off the iron and picked off there by Jermere Jones. Back comes Chambersburg. J.J. Kelly with his first shot tonight, not going to go. Yanked down there by Thurston Wells. In the half court, I kind of thought that uh, East High, number 23, Thurston Wells, would be their bread and butter. It's Copley Jackson again. And Copley Jackson nails it for a three. So Copley Jackson with five points in the game. 7-5, Central Dolphin East leads it. Copley Jackson can shoot the ball. He's a very good competitor. A lot of movement on the Chambersburg side. Bassett throws it up, misses it. Anthony Stevens yanks it down here for the Panthers, and Copley Jackson retrieves it. And Coach East doesn't have a lot of big guys. Oh, but they're, they, for a walk here. Go they ahead. got guys who play big. Number 23, Thurston Wells plays big. Number 15, Anthony Stevens plays big. Here comes Jamesburg back. 7-5, Central Dolphin leads it early here. 3.50 to go in the first quarter. Gary Sutton, Kirk Smallwood, but Jeff Thompson with timeout with Thompson at the end of the quarter. He's keeping the stats tonight as well, so we got him working all over the place. A little Boston with a hard Ooh. move to the basket. Will draw the foul. Boston got a straight line drive on the freshman, Elijah Cooper. Preston Bruner picks up the foul here. First shot is up. No good. This is not a particularly great free throw shooting team. 61% for Chambersburg. Possible only at 63. You and miss misses both. You'd, you'd be surprised that a guy that shoots that well doesn't shoot that well from the free throw line. That's very uncharacteristic of the Trojans. Thurston Wells. How about that? He says the whole way down, I'm going to line this one up and knock it down. And Thurston Wells with a three. He averages 11 and 8. Coach, he's the engine that makes him go. There was no hesitation on taking that jumper. That was transition the whole way. He's getting after it in there man to man. Pulling away again. Copley Jackson, his hands have been very active so far. He might have gotten away with a walk right there. Not going to go. Rebound kept alive by C.D. East. Back out front. And Wells has it again. Good luck downtown. Not going to draw any iron. Taken back by Boston, and here comes Chambersburg. They have an advantage, 5-4 right now. Boston up, Boston in. I tell you what, Boston has a nose for the basket. This guy's a point guard who scores. He sure does. Looks like they're going to have to put somebody on him that can keep him out of the paint, because right now, he's getting everything he wants. Watch how high he holds the ball going in. He makes himself bigger by how he keeps that ball up high and delivers high. Jack Rowan, Columbia University. Thank you very much. <laughs> we were talking about him tonight. Boston rattles another one off. That's three free throws he missed. That's very uncharacteristic for a Trojan team. Nothing out of three so far there. And so here comes CD East. Leading 10-7 so far. Good hard move to the basket. A nice touch off the glass there by Elijah Cooper into the game. The freshman averages 15 a game, but he doesn't start. That's the guy that people have been talking about in our area. Looks good. Tough move there, rebound, back up strong, not going to go, or is it? Yes, it does, finally. And Cedric Vassal, who does a lot of the hard work inside, gets his first deuce of the night. Vassal is the leading rebounder for the Trojans. Good, good stick back. He averages seven rebounds and also seven points. You get a foul called here. I think it's going to be against Vassal, and that's exactly who it's rung up against. Cedric Vassal picks up his first foul. That's going to be an interesting battle inside uh, with Thurston Wells and Vassal. Big bodies. I like Wells' stroke. Doesn't get it to fall. The, the free throw line has not been a pretty place so far tonight. Nothing out of four for both teams combined. 
How about this little drop? There you go. Four points now in the game for Thurston Wells and a 13-9 lead here for the Panthers. Both these teams tied two and one in the Commonwealth Conference. We saw Carlisle and Cumberland Valley last week, and uh, CD East laid one on Carlisle, 80-58 earlier in the season. So this is a team that's for real. We thought that Carlisle team was pretty good in that 53-49 loss the other night to Cumberland Valley to the Eagles. According to Coach Anderson, they came in and made all the shots. Little back, back door play. Back door play, and the guy didn't go up strong with it at the end, and here comes CD East again, a chance to put another point on the other end. Copley Jackson pulls up. Copley Jackson buries it. Copley Jackson having himself quite a game so far. Seven here in the first quarter with 1.43 to go. Change of pace again by Bossman. Goes up strong. Coach, he gets to the basket at will. CD East is going to have to find somebody that can keep that kid out of the paint. This is his third trip to the line. So the foul is against uh, Copley Jackson. That's a bad one because it's his second foul. It'll be the team's third so far here in the first half. And another miss at the free throw line. Stick back by Gasol, no good. Nothing out of four thus far for Bossom. Copley Jackson again. That one doesn't draw anything. And rebound goes out to Chambersburg. Look to at the Bossom. rack again. He's going every single time. Every time. And that was a little bit of a force shot, but he draws the foul and doing it. He initiates the contact, and Josiah Stanley getting called for his first foul, team four. Coach, not only is he getting to the rack, the help side defense isn't sliding over. Exactly right. You'd almost think that maybe you'd want to try to double team him a little bit. Finally gets a free throw to drop. He's one out of five so far. Offensively, he has a nice rhythm going. He's basically doing what he wants. He's got 10 out of 12 points so far. Vassar has the other two. And he's up and he's in. So 11 out of 13 points come from the hands of Jacob Bossom. We did a JV game a few years ago, and I think Jeff Thompson's in on that one. We watched that kid put 27 down in the JV game over CD East. Wow. It was the only JV game we did on TV all year long. Man, was it worth it. <laughs> what a show he put on. Nice little down screen here, set piece. Not able to use the backboard, though, and pulled down by Jameer Jones. Chance to tie it up here or go ahead. Strong move, going to get a foul call here. That's got to be a part of their their game plan. Um, when they get the ball, the the Trojans are going right to the rack. If that's uncharacteristic of the kind of Sean Schreffler teams that I've seen. I've seen. The you? foul is going to be on Anthony Stevens. That'll be his first. Team fifth shot is up, no good. So free throw line has not exactly been a friendly place tonight. Even though Aiden Swatsburg is in there right now, shoots it at 67 percent. Chambersburg has shot eight free throws already, and C.D. East has shot two. And that tells you people are going to the basket with regularity. Second one is up, and that one's good. Swatsburg with his first score of the night. He's got one point, and a one-point lead it is as we head toward the end of the first quarter. 34 seconds ago, and a very quickly played first quarter, despite the number of fouls. Eli, Be Eli Vega initiating the attack for the Panthers. Trying to post up Wells. Strong move to the middle, but taken away at the end. Ball loose, picked up there. Ahead it goes to nice Stanley pass. Locius, and Locius up, not going to go. Tipped around, saved, good hustle. CD East looking to finish it off here in the end. Copley Jackson gets a block called, and it's against Stanley Locius on the way back. Stanley Locius stepped in, and uh, it was a block call. I love the aggressiveness of Terrence Copney Jackson. He really comes at you. That's that's the way he plays every sport he plays. He, he really gets after it. Get him on the inbounds here again. Kick into the corner, stolen away again, this time by Lozius. And that will be the end of the first quarter. Oh. 15 to 14 at the end of one. CD East leads it. And right now, it is time for us to head off to timeout with Thompson as Jeff Thompson takes us into his world for just a few moments. Let's take a timeout right now with Jeffrey Thompson, the coach.
I'd like to talk about the two coaches we have here tonight. And they're very similar in a lot of ways. Ryan Hill, the new coach of CD East, he, he played for Steelton in the Mid Penn Conference. And a shout out to his older brother Lloyd, who e he lo everyone in the area loves Lloyd. Uh, Ryan's doing a good job. He was Big 15 in high school. He played at Bucknell, and the kids seem to really respond to him. And on the other side, we have Sean Schreffler, who spent his lifetime working with kids. I, I don't know if I know a more humble guy than Sean. He just knows about his business. I think he's won 357 games at, at Chambersburg, but that's not the full story. He gives it all. The kids know that he loves them, and, and it's just a unique thing. But in a lot of ways, I see these two coaches as being very, very, very similar. So it's kind of fun to watch their teams out here on the court. Great timeout with Jeff Thompson here as we are up on the side of the uh, court here. High above the floor. They have a beautiful track up here, but Jeff uh, really doing a good job with both those coaches there. And again, humbleness and service to kids and being teachers, and that's what it's all about. And uh, Jeff really, I think, captured that very nicely in that piece. Thanks, Jeff. Hey, we're back in the second quarter right now. 15-14. We got a good one here going. We, we expected that tonight. CD East up by one right now. Looks like a little tighter man-to-man -man here by, by Chambersburg. Chambersburg. Yeah, it looks like CD East is playing a little five out. A hard drive there by Vega. Can't get it to go. Take it out of there by Ari Snyder into the game. Vega's on him like a cheap sweater, Coach. <laughs> he followed him to 80, 70 feet down the floor. We did a game with him last year, and I'll tell you what, you talk about a guy who plays hard all the time. There he is. Good steal by East in little, the foul. Little change to a zone there, and the foul probably a good foul because that was going to be a layup. And the foul will be marked up. And that will be on number five. That's Stanley Losius, and if that's on him, it's his second foul now here in the second quarter. Team foul now against Chambersburg. That was a great steal by Josiah Stanley. He used a correct hand. He was in good defensive position. So important to use that near hand to get that steal, and that's exactly what he did. Kobe Jackson, he's been hot so far, and this one rattles in and out. Pulled down nicely by Cedric Massa. There's a clean look downtown. Not going to go. Yanked out of there again. Good hustle. A one on the on glass four. by Anthony Stevens. And Stevens is going to have it blocked, but he's fouled before the block. And the foul will be against Carter Vogel. Vogel with his second foul. Very aggressive play by Anthony Stevens. Looked like a one on three, a one on four. 17 right fouls. 17 fouls. Now you're going to have two shots here as Steven steps to the line. Steven's first shot is up. Off the back of the iron. So the woes can sit, continue at the line tonight for both these clubs. And coach, just as a, 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 a mid pin guy, I hope it's because it's early season. Yeah. Most of the teams we've seen haven't been shooting well, and historically, they've been good free throw shooting teams. You're gonna win a lot of games at that line later on. Nobody's guarding you at that point, right? Right, right. J.J. Kelly on the rebound. Possible that he slipped a little bit as he tried to jump stop in the middle of this half pass off. And don't forget, you can go to www.hsslivetv.com to watch all of our games and replays as well. Here's Chambersburg. New man with the basketball there's Colton Cornwell. Shot up, not going to go off the hands of Swatsburg. That was eaten up by the leading, leading rebounder, Jake. Give credit to the defense there for getting in the head as the guy came baseline, didn't finish strong. Copney Jackson again. Tip there, it's out of bounds, going to stay with CD East. Good look inside. Kobe Jackson really kind of generates the energy for this team, doesn't he? When you he look sure at him, he's just, he's just moving hard all the time. He's going to compete on both ends of the floor for 32 minutes. Terrence Kobe Jackson, a senior, six foot one. There he is. Little pullback. That one's not going to go. And again, Cedric Passage has been the chairman of the board so far. Coach, he inhales the rebound. I mean, 
He's a very valuable piece for the Trojans. You know what you like about him, Coach? We, we often talk about things that coaches can never get enough of. Rebounds. Here's a guy you see two clamps going on the ball every time. You never see one hand pulling the other. It's two going after the ball all the time. Yes. Fights for good defensive position also. Massa heads to the line, a place that has been a frightful place tonight so far for both these clubs. And continues to be that way as he misses the one-on-one. -on -one. Number four, Eli it? Vega. Nice pass in there. I thought he had his man open for a moment there with uh, Anthony Stevens. Just couldn't handle it. Here's Bassman again. Kind of a zone look here. A little bit of a m m movement. And there's, they finally find Kelly inside. And that's his first points of the night. He averages 18 a game. J.J. Kelly, the district and state champion in triple jump. A little bit of a zone back on the other side now. Or is it? They're just playing a sag man to man. And the foul's going to be called. That'll be Marshall against Swatsburg. That'll be his first. And so, one on one situation. Checking back into the game is Thurston Wells for CD East and also Elijah Cooper. Cooper, the freshman, carrying 15 points a game off the bench, and Wells carrying 11. So, 26 points just checked into your lineup. That's always a good thing. They are not to seven yet, so ball be brought in on the baseline here by the Panthers. 5.15 to go. Don't forget, well, halftime, we'll have our Jack T. and Volvo halftime report, our AT&T and Capital Blue Cross halftime stats, and our OSS Health first half highlights. And I thought we were at the one-on-one uh, -on -one mark there because they shot it the last time, but Demetrius Matt Matthews at the line, a six-foot senior. Demetrius Matthews has not been on the line tonight, has no points in the game, lets this one go, and again, off the back of the iron. So 16, or 15, 16 15 right now. Chambersburg leads it by one in a slow scoring game. It's turned into a little bit of a tractor pull. I like that. Kelly, very nice smooth, play. and they're getting him the ball in the middle of the defense now, Coach. Massad showed a nice touch in that leaner. That was off the iron. Good rebound. Sticking it back up. Not going to go. Good fight on the floor by Wells. Wells keeps it alive, and they're going to get a timeout. Great job there by Ryan Hill to get the timeout call. We'll take one as well. 18 to 15, the Trojans lead it on High School Sports Live TV's Game of the Week, right here on Fox 43.2. Across Pennsylvania, families are living their lives in their own homes. Not long ago, none of these families believed it possible. And then they discovered there was someone who could help. What was once only a dream is now a reality. Welcome home. Advanced Hoops is offering a special middle school boys winter league. It's not too late to sign up. To find out more, go to www.advancedhoops.com. Gary Sutton, Kirk Smallwood, Jeff Thompson with you and our whole Invicta crew here tonight. 18 to 15 here in the second quarter, 4.43 to go. And CD East with the ball trying to get back at least tie here. Coach CD East has been dominating the boards. They have 12 and Chambersburg has nine. A little screen on top, good takeaway there by J.J. Kelly. Kelly dumps it off, kind of a little bit of a, a not the sharpest pass you're ever going to throw there, but goes out of bounds off of C.D. East. I'm not sure that that's who Coach Schreffler wants running the break for him, but <laughs> <laughs> he almost got away with one. Here comes Kelly. He's been the guy they've been going to the last few times down. They found something in the middle of the floor here with him. And someone thought he was going to backdoor there. He gets it. Tell you what, Eli Vega is sticking to Bassam everywhere he goes right yes, now. Yes, he is. 
He goes to the locker room at halftime. I think he'll be sitting next to him. There he is in the middle again. Looks Kelly like in he's the isolated. Yep, they're isolated in the middle. There's no help side. Now Kelly gets it out top. There's a three look, and man, a sweet look outside as J.J. Kelly with his first three of the night. All of a sudden, just like that, he's got seven points in the game. That's a nice-looking sophomore. Chambersburg in that 2-1-2 zone. That little 2-1-2 zone uh, that they're playing now, it's, it's, again, sagging in there has really, I think, changed up things. Nice penetration that time, however, by Elijah Cooper. And Cooper now, with four points in the ballgame, brings it back to four. The freshman showing his wares. Look at Vega on Boston. And you're going to get a push out front. The referee's keeping it quite close here tonight as Baffy's just going to draw the foul. Usually when you're playing man to man, they're going to call it really, really close in the mid pen, particularly in the Commonwealth. So Kelly will step to the free throw line. Kelly on the season, 54%. His first time there tonight. Hopefully that, that'll improve, Coach. Didn't look like a 54% stroke there, did it? That looked like money to me. <laughs> That's exactly right. <laughs> That'll win you a few quarters at the park right there. Oh, yeah. I don't know with inflation, it's still quarters, though. <laughs> Second one up, he rattles that one home. So he says, give me a chance to get there tonight, Coach. I can do it. Looks like a little delay of game. Just like that, Kelly, who had no points about five, four minutes ago, now has nine. Yes. He's starting to get, uh, starting to percolate a little bit. You know, he's, he's, a, he's a really smooth kind of player. You don't sense like there's a whole lot of stutter in his game. I mean, there's no static. It's just yes. always this continue continuity kind of thing. Yes, he's going to do what he does. Looks like Chambersburg slid into a 3-2. Looks like the old 3-2 that uh, Rick Binder used to run. Exactly right. <laughs> And that's now, a nice move. Getting it to Wells inside, and Wells puts it away off the glass for Wells. That's now six points in the game. Now, that's where I thought we would see him all night long. He's been on the perimeter until that play. There's Bassett. Bassett gets so high there and so quickly, and Bassett in for yet another do. Coach Bassett is getting to the rim at will. 13 points for Bassett in the game. Tough shot there, but it gets to go by Kobe Jackson. Man, he found a way to get that in. Kobe Jackson with nine points. And the stars are coming out to shine here yes, tonight. Yes, they are. 2.40 to go until the half. Ooh. Oh, and Bassett thought he had a back door coming there. Did not get that. And, Coach, usually when you practice that back door, you show your outside hand. When you show your inside hand, that means you want the ball. There's something in the game that's starting to disappear at the back door, huh? Yes. See, with so much pick and roll and pick and flare and all that kind of stuff, you don't see the back door the way you used to. You're right. Of course, you also don't see as much motion away from the basket as you used to. Everything's on the ball now. Looks like they went to this zone kind of thing just to kind of cut down on the uh, penetration that CD East was getting the first quarter. That time, CD East with a tough little shot. Four-point lead for Chambersburg. About two minutes to go here in the first half. Kind of thought Wells would be back on the block during that possession. Wells showing his skills. Looks like Chambers Berg back in the man to man. Yeah, they're taking away the penetration, so they're going to have to attack him to the side. I think they try to hit Wells down along the baseline on the side. Out front is the foul. It's going to be a Masai. That'll be his second. And back to the line goes C.D. Easton Vega making his first trip there tonight. Vassal did a good job showing on that screen, but you can't make contact with the ball handler. I want to correct myself earlier. Kelly was seven points, not nine, and uh, four points on the other end for us. Vassa instead of two. Vega up good. Vega's one of those guys, you're not going to see his numbers wow you out there on the page, but you know what? Coaches know the effort he's putting on the floor. Absolutely. I like the way, he, you know, they brought him off the bench and he ran the team, got him in their stuff. Plays he's hard defense, yes. distributes, does all the right things, makes the right moves, brings a certain amount of energy. He's got two points tonight for the free throw line and back to two it comes. 140 to go here in the half. Our Jackson Val will have time before coming your way. 
Got a special interview with Charlie Fortney and Mike Sevastio on a very special toys for Tots program. Here's Basma again. Going to the rim. Good tip away that time by CD. It's good defense to keep his shoulders from being able to square up. That's really what you have to do with Basma is keep his shoulders from square. And here's Kobe Jackson downtown. Kobe Jackson continues to have a hot hand. Kobe Jackson for three. 12 points in the game, and he gives his team a lead by one with 110 to go in the half. Kobe Jackson's a threat on both ends of the floor. Here's Basma again, looking to maybe, maybe make a spin move. Now kicks it. Almost stole it away. Underneath it comes. That's going to get tipped away. They were looking to try to get Jameer Jones down in there. And the foul will be called instead against uh, CD East. Jameer Jones seemed to have good post position on that play. Second foul against Josiah Stanley. And at the line is Jameer Jones, 67% free throw shooter for the year. First time there tonight for the 6'5 junior. And that one off the iron. So CD East a chance to take the lead to the locker room possibly here. 26-25, Chambersburg leads it. Coming up on 45 seconds to go here in the half. Coach, not a lot of movement in the East offense. No. Running out of that 1-4 there. They kind of cross the guards and post up Copney Jackson. Three look. The freshman from downtown. Copney Jackson with an offensive rebound. Another one for the corner. That one won't go. Pulled down by Kelly. 26 seconds to go here in the first half. Bassam has it. And I think we all know where Bassam's <laughs> going to go with it. Yeah. Either he or Kelly are going to take this last shot. Yeah. Kelly right now. There he is. Change of pace again. And he just forces you to play hard. Elijah Cooper with his first foul. So that'll send Bassam back to the line, which might be the safest place right now if your CD is to put him because he hasn't been too good there tonight so Absolutely. far. Absolutely. I know he's missed at least three, possibly four. He's missed four out of six so far. Whoa. But you know what? This is a guy, the more he shoots through the game, you've got to figure the better he's going to get. Oh, yeah. He'll, he'll, he'll start percolating. You, know, you watch a kid like Bassam play. We just saw the replay here a moment ago. The change of pace. Such an important part of basketball. You don't want to play at once. Be changing up all the time, keeping people on their heels is what you want to do. And here, he looked much more confident with that stroke. He's made his last three now after missing his first four. From watching what he does on the floor, Coach, a place like uh, Penn State Mount Alto would be a nice spot for him because they play the way he plays. Exactly. There's four in a row now. He missed the first four. He makes the next four. And his team now back up by one here with 11 and a half seconds to go. And with the basketball here, the Panthers. A.J. Cooper with it, and timeout called by Ryan Hill as he lets his team get the half court. He's going to set up a little half court play with nine seconds to go. We'll keep it right here. So now, in your experience over the years, in a play like this, you got nine seconds to go here in the first half. Smart move to get the half court. Now you set it up. you got a half court kind of look. What kind of play are you looking to run here? I would do something to get the ball inside to my horse, Thurston Wells. You know, if he's not going to make the shot, he's going to get fouled, and they're in the bonus. Yeah, with the defense that Chambersburg's playing right now, that sag defense, they're not letting you penetrate the way you were in the first quarter. So I think they showed a little bit earlier that little pass to the side and then posted Wells up, and he knows what he's doing when he gets it into the block. He sure does. I'd like to see him spending a little bit more time in the paint because he can really score. Will Sean Scheffler change anything up right here? You coached against him a few times. What's he doing defensively? Uh, he's going to put a lot of pressure on the ball, first of all. And uh, guys are going to be in good health position. If there's any penetration, they're going to step up and take the charge. He's probably looking to make the take an outside shot to close the half and maybe make someone other than Kobe Jackson take it. Absolutely. Kobe Jackson, by the way, in the first half, he has two threes and three deuces. So he's been uh, a force to be reckoned with so far. So let's see what how close we got to both these guys. Kobe Jackson will inbound it here. Now they get it to Wells. There's Kobe Jackson, exactly who you wanted to take it. And Kobe Jackson gets it in. Great handoff play there to Wells, to Jackson. And that is the end of the first half. 28 to 27 here at the half. And the lead is on the side of the CD East Panthers as both these teams head to the locker room. We'll do the same as we head off to our Jack and Valvo halftime report, our AT&T and Capital Blue Cross halftime stats, and our OSS Health first half stats. Before we go to those, though, right now, 
I want to bring in uh, Ron Corsi, who is the AD right here at Chambersburg High School. And he has got something going on later on this month that is, uh, well, I, a lot of people are coming to play in this tournament. Coach, great to have you aboard. Ron, always good to have you up here. Great to be in Chambersburg. You always do such a great job hosting this. But talk about the tournament you put together last year. You came here. It's really a fantastic tournament. You know, we're really, really excited. We started something last year called Hoops for Harmony, Stand Against Racism. It's something that's near and dear to my heart in terms of just racial harmony, racial equity, you know, just everybody getting along. As Dr. King said, judging people by the content of their character and not the color of their skin. Um, we did that with the premise of having high-level basketball games and raising awareness to basically everybody just getting along and loving each other for who they are. Uh, I thought it was a tremendous success last year. You know, obviously, we had a couple hiccups in terms of, you know, people not really understanding the meaning or the purpose of the event. Um, I think we were able to clearly articulate that, you know, there was no hidden messages or hidden agendas around the event. It was high-level basketball for, for a very worthy cause. So we're excited to bring it up this, this Martin Luther King weekend in two weeks, and we got a heck of a schedule for you guys to watch. How many teams do you have coming together this year? I have 40 teams, wow. 32 games over three days. I'm not going to sleep for 72 I was hours. Say, well, you, the, the alarm's not going to be on. But <laughs> Listen, it is, uh, it's a labor of love. I question my sanity from the moment it starts to the moment it ends. But, I mean, this is what I do. I love basketball. You know, I grew up playing basketball all my life, played college basketball. This is my way of giving back to the game. And like I said, for it to be such a – a worthy cause of raising awareness around, just like I said, racial harmony, racial unity on Dr. Martin Luther King's birthday weekend. Can't do better what, than that, what man. Better, what better way than to merge two loves and two passions than this event? So it's going to be pretty cool. Ron, where can people find out more about this? So at the end of the week, we're going to have the full schedule and the broadcast link on Midpin Broadcasting. Um, the games will be broadcast on the Roxmoor Sports Network. We'll also have a link with the schedule on the Chambersburg Athletics website, which is just casdathletics.com. Um, I'll have a full schedule of games. It's really, really cool that these people in the area and regionally will be able to see people that they wouldn't normally be able to see. And I have, I have a top 30 ranked kid in the class of 2025. Uh, you know, Amir Malik, who is already John Calipari, he's drooling over him, a 6'10 kid. You know, I have. Uh, the number 17th ranked team in the D.C. area, Theodore Roosevelt coming with the leading scorer in the D.C. Metro League. I mean, it's just amazing. And then obviously Saturday night, Chambersburg is playing traditional power Chester. If anybody wow. knows high school basketball, you know Chester is always good. When, when they say they're down, they're still good. Yeah. So it's just going to be phenomenal basketball. And we've sprinkled in a lot of the local teams as well. You have Shippensburg and James Buchanan and you got my team up there, Columbia, coming up to Absolutely. play again. Absolutely. Columbia's playing two games. They're boys and girls. So we tried to do a three-tier approach. We tried to have a lot of locals in the immediate area. We tried to extend to the Harrisburg, Lancaster, York yep. area. And then we tried to get a sprinkle of nationally ranked teams and players to round out the, the field. So this is an event you can come and sit and eat breakfast, lunch, and dinner here if you love basketball right, because really it's going to be a phenomenal, phenomenal event. Oops for Harmony. Really appreciate what you're doing, Ron. And again, that's the weekend of? The weekend of January. January 13th to January 15th, Dr. Martin Luther King's birthday weekend. We'll have games Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, all day Saturday, all day Sunday, and then games starting at 4 o'clock. And the only Friday. thing you can't do is sleep at the gym. Ron, no, Ron, can't Ron will sleep because I'll be here, and, and there's only one <laughs> cot available. Right. Ron, thanks so much. Congratulations. Thank you, guys. Thank you guys for having me. Great job. We had the halftime now, and uh, our Jack T. Avalo halftime report right after this here at High School Sports Live to be on Fox 3.2. High School Sports Live has been excited over the years to partner with Groff Tractor. Mike Chavasio and his team have been a big part of putting High School Sports Live on television, and we thank them from the bottom of our heart. But today, we're out here for a new reason, Toys for Tots. Mike, it took Toys for Tots and what your company's doing for the community to finally get you to come on High School Sports Live. That kind of shows how humble of a guy you are. It took 14 years to get you out here. Well, I mean, we've been, you know, we've been with you from day one and, yes. and we've always had a belief in investing in the future of our kids. And so when these two came to me about Toys for Tots and they told me what they wanted to do five years ago, it was it was an easy decision because, uh, you know, every kid deserves a good Christmas. And uh, it's it's just like every kid deserves a chance to play sports, every kid. And, and today there's a lot of kids that yeah. it's been a struggle. And so um, I'm really proud of our employees and, 
really it's these two over here and a bunch of our other employees have put this all together and it's you know as a as president of a company it makes you really proud to see your people I know. I, I bet it does. And and this is Melissa and Katie Reed here. Melissa, talk about um, how this idea came about, because it seems like a really special idea here at Groff. Well, my father passed away in 2018, and he served in the military, in the Marine Corps, served in Vietnam. So he's a Vietnam vet also. So I thought it would be a great way to honor my father and help the community at the same time. And who doesn't want a toy under the Christmas tree for a child? Katie, you've been involved in marketing in all different roles with Groff over the years. This had to get you a little excited, too, to see something like this happen. And, and if you don't mind talking about how the employees got involved. Well, this year we try to do extra with the employees and get our employees to get involved in building the bikes. So we had all of the bikes purchased unassembled, and we went to all of our branches across Pennsylvania and had them assembled by our employees and had a contest uh, to see who could do it the fastest because everybody's always in for having a contest. Well, and I got my bike picked out right here. This was the biggest one, but I don't know if I'm allowed to take this with me today, but I just see all these bikes and all these presents. This is awesome. And Groff Tractor, you know, you're the instant replay on our broadcast, but there's going to be a lot of kids, underprivileged youth in the area that Toys for Tots is going to connect with. And I'm just hoping and we're hoping that this is just an almost like an instant replay household after household during Christmas that are going to re, be able to reduplicate just uh, bringing some joy into some kids lives. We're proud to be a part of this uh, partnering with Groff Tractor on High School Sports Live and we're just excited for years to come of reaching the community with Groff Tractor. Where were you last night? Do you know how embarrassing that was for me? No, 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 don't deflect. Well, that wasn't passive aggressive. Listen, I just need to know that I can trust you're gonna be there when I need you. Hello? Our money just hung up on me. Not cool. Track your spending with our personal finance tool. Just another way to have better conversations with your money from F&M Trust. Groff Tractor is your full line equipment dealer representing Case Construction and many other leading brands, serving the total sales, rentals, parts, and service needs of its customer. Students, begin your professional journey in a high demand field with Groff Tractor. Contact us today to discover the power of our technician internship programs. Groff Tractor also offers scheduled maintenance along with 24 7 emergency service. Groff Tractor is your number one source for everything under construction. Here at Chambersburg High School, our high school sports live to be game of the week. Gary Sutton with you, Kirk Smallwood, Jeff Thompson. 28-27 CD East leads here at the half. And let's take a look first of all at our AT&T and OSS Health first half highlights. We've been a lot of good basketball here in the first half by both clubs. And let's take a look at those highlights right now. Coaches, take me through. Let's good drive, penetration, and kick out. You saw a nice knockdown there by uh, number 11, uh, Josiah Stanley, off the baseline. This guy made his presence known the whole half. Bassam drive to the basket. We saw that often. He was very aggressive early in the game. Here's another guy that's very aggressive. Kofi Jackson, 14 points in the first half. He opened the bank on that goal. Here's Bassam on the other side showing you notice how to make the three, too. He can light it up. Then here comes CDs right back at you. And again, back to Kofi Jackson. Long stroke, knocks it down for another three. Part nice of his shot. 14 points. Pass him again, change of pace, goes up hard, lays it in, draws a foul. He's lived at the rim the whole first half. And this guy, Thurston Wells, with a sweet three on, on transition. For an inside player, that's pretty sweet, isn't it? That is. Taking it outside like that. Did we see this before? Pass him again, Jacob Bass from hard in the basket, banks it off, makes the board his friend. Here's, Here's a ninth grader going to the hook rack pretty Elijah well. Elijah Cooper, good job here. Let's take a look at our Capital Blue Cross uh, first half stats here. And uh, what jumps out of you? Both the teams shooting decent from the field for the most part. Uh, Three-point line, not too bad. 
Uh, anything jump out at you there, Coach Smallwood? Well, I like the idea that Chambersburg getting to the line, but 7 to 14 just won't do it. So both teams need to clean up the second half, and that is your Jack G. and Volvo halftime report. We get ready to start the third quarter here. This is the High School Sports Live to be game of the week. 28-27 as we start the second half. Central Dolphin East leads it. Chambersburg with the basketball. There's Bossom. And Bossom gets the foul called against Eli Vega. And for Vega, that's only his first foul all night. He's been playing Bossom really, really tough. He sure is. He's, he's got to get in a, in, a, in a solid stance, Coach. It looks like Bossom kind of makes him lift up a little bit. Hard move. Nice block. It's a nice job that time by uh, Anthony Stevens for CD East. So here comes Vega quickly back on the other end. Thurston Wells gets it. Nice move by Wells. Wells just kind of a sweet looking player, isn't he? Yes, he is. Eight points in the game now for Wells. His first deuce in the second half. Another tough nice pass. Nice steal. And Wells gets the steal on the other end. So he scores at that end, gets the steal on the other end right away in transition. Vega, tough shot. Not going to go. Pulled down by Kelly. Knocked away at the last second. Picked up by Copney Jackson. Nice hustle by Anthony Stevens getting on the floor for the basketball. So 30-27 now. The Panthers lead it by three here as we open up the third quarter. Number three, Carter Fogle. There's Kelly. Yeah. Here comes Bassam off the weak side screen. And I think you're going to call for a offensive, offensive foul. foul. Yeah. And the foul will be marked up on Adam Swatsburg, and that'll be his second. One of the adjustments that uh, Coach Reffler has made, he's given the ball to Carter Fogel, who leads the team in assists. What they're and doing is trying to screen off Vega now on the weak side to get uh, Bassman coming off the weak side screen. Here's a down screen, set piece, miss, taken by Kelly. Check that facade, rather. Bassman with the kick out. Here's a three look over the top of the backboard. Pulled down again. I'll tell you, this guy, Anthony Stevens, has played a really solid game defensively and on the glass. He's, sure, he's rebounding the ball very well. Well, shows shot, then thinks better of it. And the foul along the baseline. Another foul on Swatsburg. That'll be his third of the game, second here in the third quarter. Copney goes hard baseline. So they're going to have to get Swatsburg out there. That's exactly what happens. And into the ball game comes Trayton Sarvis, 6'2 senior. Wells. Wells is on the perimeter a whole lot. I'd like to see him dive down to that block a little bit. Well, what a strong move that was. Can't get away with it again. Cedric Fassa with another rebound. Here's Bassam. You know where he's going, coach. Left hand this time, doesn't quite get it to go, but draws another foul. That has to be part of their game plan, is to get the ball in his hands and let him get to the rim. And he's wearing out some guys right now. That's a third foul now on Josiah Stanley. So at the line is Bassam. He's made his last four after missing his first four. And this one a little flat. Very uncustomary for a Chambersburg Trojan team. They usually have very, very good free throw shooters. Miss this, both. This one doesn't even draw iron, but it's going to be off. CD East out of bounds, so it'll stay with Chambersburg. So he missed the first four. He made the next four. He's missed the last two. Yeah. Not the kind of streaks you want to have at the moment, at least on the front and back end of that. He's got to clean that up. Here's Fogel inbounding the ball. Nice screen to get it to Kelly. Pass him after screening, gets screened for. And then a nice job to get him from Hassan. He gets called for the charge. Cedric Fassar with his third foul. So Swatsburg with three now. And so does uh, Fassar. Lozius and Fogel both with two each. Nice job by Stevens to step in and take the charge. Foul starting to be a factor in the ball game. Chambersburg has three turnovers this half. Stanley just came off the floor with his three fouls. And so did Fassar. So you took those two players off and see what your bench could do here for the moment. Here's Vega. Vega directing the attack. Vega, not a guy that's going to shoot a lot for you. 
And he is a great A distributor and wonderful defensive player. Copney Jackson, hard move, not going to go. Nice rebound. Okay, that was Stevens. Another Stevens. rebound for Stevens. There's Vega. Pulled down nicely by Jameer Jones, and then the foul on Copney Jackson. And that's the third foul of Copney Jackson. That's not that's one that'll get you old and gray in a hurry, those kind of fouls. Yes, yes. As hard as he's played in this game, too, he's really been a positive factor. And there you see Ryan Hill, the new coach this year at CD East, three and two in his career. And you contrast that to Sean Schreffler, 357 to 227. He's got a few years to go yet. Yes, he does. He'll get there. Seems like an outstanding young man. Had a chance to talk to before the game. There's a little pull-up play. How about Carter Fogel? He says, I can score, coach. His Carter first do so tonight. So not only can I dish it, I, I can make the 10, 12 footer. I see Eli Vega directing the East High attack. Oh, and there's Stevens with a hard move to the basket. It's going to draw the foul from Fogel, and that'll be his third foul. Coach Stevens is listed at six foot, and that's giving him an inch and a half at least. But he plays hard. He plays inside. He guards guys bigger than him. Gets offensive rebounds and step in. He takes charges. 0 for 2 tonight for the free throw line and knocks this one down. His first points of the evening. But man, has he played hard defensively and on the glass tonight? He's doing a very, very good job. New man into the game is Harry Snyder now. And checking out is Carter Fogel with his three fouls. So both coaches having to adjust right now for foul problems. Second shot, that's up, and that's good as well. It's a clean looking foul shot he got. Stevens missed his first two, made his last two. He's got two points in the game and a three point lead for the Panthers with 4.52 to go here in the third quarter. There's Bassett. He's always looking for a shot. Good hard move to Bassett. Not going to go for Mary Snyder. Back it goes to Bassett. Bassett doesn't really get it off too well. It's going to be off, I think, CD East out of bounds. And they say no, it's actually off uh, Chambersburg. So CD East gets the basketball. There you see Sean Schreffler, 24 years at Chambersburg High School. And talk about intense. Take a look at that look. Yes, he's doing a good job. Had a pretty good son who played for him here the last year. Yes, or two. he did. Yeah. Yes, he did. You, you were talking about they ran one of your plays against you at the end of the game, right? With three seconds on the clock for the win. Just Thurston Wells pull up by Wells. Wells smooth. Thurston Wells with another bucket. He's got 10 points as he hits double figures. Five point lead now for CD East. Ties their biggest lead of the night. Sean Sheffler has seen enough. He wants a timeout. We'll take one as well. 34 to 29. CD East leads it here in the third quarter with 4.04 to go. You're watching it all on the High School Sports Live TV Game of the Week on Fox 43.2. The Jet Giambabbo family of dealerships. Nine great franchises in five locations. Buick GMC, Hyundai, Genesis of York, Stetler Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram, Giambabbo Hyundai of Hanover, and our newest dealership, Jack Giambabbo Mazda. The Giambabbo family of dealerships. Over 30 million in new and pre-owned inventory with a reputation for quality service after the sale. Giambabbo is proud to serve your community. Find out why. The Jack Giambabbo family of dealerships. Five great locations. Online at giambabbo.com. And the band played on. We start a brand new year here, and uh, the band here pretty good tonight. Keeps it lively up there. Chambersburg with a timeout here, and Coach Sean Scheffler is down by five right now. Does not like the way this rhythm is going so far, Coach. Coach, this, this seems to be a different Chambersburg team as far as their approach offensively. We're used to seeing more ball movement, more body movement, more guys touching the ball, but that's not what we're seeing today. We saw the quarter start with Fogel handling the ball and putting Bossom off on the wing, maybe to try to get him open and screen Vega off, who's been playing hard on the ball against him. But it took away a lot of the penetration that they were getting in the first half. So let's see if they make a change here and they get it back in Bossom's hands. And there it is. There's your screen out high. And what do they do right away? They get Bossom going to the basket. Right to the rim. So Coach Treffler saw what we saw and said, I need to get my penetrator penetrating. He's got to hit free throws also. So the foul will be against uh, Preston Bruner, who's in the game now. And again, the free throw line continues to be a house of horrors for Bossom. He's missed his last three. 
And finally gets this one to drop. He's got 16 points in the game. Team back to four points. 3.57 to go in the third quarter. Freshman Elijah, Elijah Cooper directing the attack. Nice look by Stevens. Not going to go. Pulled down by Jameer Jones again. All the way ahead. Great passing. Wonderful job passing the ball down the court. And J.J. Kelly finishes it off. Kelly now with nine points in the basketball game. That's the Chambersburg team I'm used to seeing, where guys touch the ball, guys run the floor, and they finish at the rim. How about that touch by Ari Snyder, huh? And yes. Fega trying to go to the basket. Blocked away. It'll be C.D. East ball out of bounds. Preston Bruner in there to trigger the play. There's Wells. Stolen away by Bassman. Guess where he's going with it. Bassman gets ahead to Kelly. Kelly saves it, throws it back out. Underneath it goes. Another good set of passes, and Jameer Jones finishes it off. And all of a sudden, we have a tie game with 3.11 to go in the third. Coach, when, when guys touch the ball, Chambersburg's very, very effective. Unselfish basketball, both those last two possessions. In the open court as well as in the half court. I'd like to see a little bit more motion from from East. Starting to see him back door a little bit more now. Just running kind of a little motion play there. There's a pull up. Missed. Vega brings it down off the boards. Make that area. Snyder rather. Forgive me. Snyder. Wow. Somebody liked that three. He was towing that thing up for a while was Creighton Sarvis who buries it. His first three of the night, and all of a sudden, Chambersburg has run off eight consecutive points. Timeout. Coach Ryan Hill and the Panthers will take one as well. 2.26 to go in the third quarter. This is High School Sports Live to be on Fox 43.2. Advanced Dukes is offering middle school basketball league for any kids who need more playing experience over the winters. It's not too late to go to advancedhoops.com. Gary Sutton, Kirk Smallwood with you. Some bad shots by CD East. Quick turnarounds and transition on the other side by Chambersburg. And then nice penetration in the half court game. And they have eight consecutive points and a block here. Nice block by number 42, Jameer Jones. You know, all of a sudden, Jameer Jones has gotten himself involved in the basketball game with. Basile on the bench. Excellent defense. Oh, man. Great piece of defense here by C.D. East. Anthony Stevens not only doing it inside, he's doing it defensively on the perimeter. This guy has been on the floor. He's been on the glass tonight. He's been on the defensive end. I mean, he really is doing a wonderful job. He's playing a very, very good game. So Snyder gets called for the foul here. Ball belongs to C.D. East, and here is... Elijah Cooper. The Cooper, Cooper looks like he's feeling his way a little bit, doesn't he? Yes, yes. He averages 15 a game for this club. I'd like to see him go north and south as opposed to east and west. Here again, you're trying to penetrate against this team right now. And how about that? That's called a high percentage shot, ladies and gentlemen. 11 points now for J.J. Kelly as he put that one away on a nice turnaround again. 10 consecutive points. Another turnover here for C.D. East. J.J. Kelly. Transition tough shot here. Kelly keeps it alive. Jameer Jones has it. Bossom with a three downtown. Look out. And that one misses. Copney Jackson on the glass. Copney Jackson has not been involved in the offense too much this quarter. No, he sure hasn't. Again, part of that is the nice fact he's back carried up. three fouls. Tough shot again. Copney Jackson Copney up. Jackson again. Strong. Not going to go here. And finally yanked down to the smallest guy on the floor, Ari Snyder. Snyder, a mighty might in amongst the trees here. I'd like to see J.J. Kelly get in on that defensive board. Pass it. Gets up in the air, kicks it, throwing it back inside. Covered there by Sarvis. And they're going to reset it now. Snyder gets the basketball. Possum wants it. As opposed to Jameer Jones. He's been tough this quarter. And Jones nice keeps move. on being tough. Jones with two. He's got four. That's where I think they, they have a, a strong advantage. On that, on that block. 
12 consecutive points now to none for CD East. The middle has not been available. CD East defense down the lane has been tremendous. And then they're turning into real points in transition as we tick down to 20 seconds here to go in the third quarter. Yeah, not a lot of motion. How about that one? Cooper up, Cooper in, foul call. That's good. going to be against Derry Snyder. Good job by the freshman with the left hand. Good extension. Six points in the game now for Cooper, a chance to make it seven as he has a lot and stops the bleeding here finally after 12 consecutive points run off by the Trojans. Both these teams two and one in the mid-pen conference, the Commonwealth Conference, the mid-pen. Elijah Cooper at the line. Cooper averaging 15 a game as a freshman. And man, a sweet stroke there. He's got seven tonight. It's Cooper nice. Maybe a big factor in this game before it's over. It's a nice position to be in. Your freshman year, you're the leading scorer on the team, and you come off the bench. Coming up on 10 seconds here. Guess what's going to happen here? Possible drive, either kick or score. Kicks. He's got the man open. He wanted to get. There's a three look, not going to go. Tipped around, taken down by Kobe Jackson. That ends the third quarter, 41 to 37. Chambersburg leads it. We head to the fourth, all here on High School Sports Live to be on Fox 43.2. But first, we go to a timeout right now with Jeff Thompson, who is all ready to go. And Jeff, take it away. Number 12, J.J. Kelly. Well, kids need role models, and one of his was Eric Bender, who died unexpectedly a couple years ago. Eric's wearing number 12 to honor, or JJ's wearing number 12 to honor Eric Bender. And, and while we're at it, there's something that's really nice going on this weekend for Chambersburg. Coach Randy Taylor had a son who, who died tragically, and, and there's a Dunster Drew fundraiser this weekend. Uh, Coach Taylor was the coach in the mid pen. He came on to coach with Chambersburg uh, a few years ago. And, and uh, if you could come out and see Chambersburg's fundraiser this weekend, that'd be great. Great uh, timeout with Coach Thompson here. And, uh, you know, we're reminded about all the other things that go on outside of sports. We watched uh, Lamar Hamlin last night get hurt in that game uh, for Buffalo. And, of course, the whole country poured out there. He had a charity one. Was trying to get $2,500. It's now close to $5 million today, just overnight. So, we, you know, we're seeing a lot of better angels going on. We heard Ron Corsi talking about, you know, harmony, uh, hoops for harmony. Uh, we hear about the kind of things going on this weekend. I just think it's really good. Uh, we have a chance to practice our better angels in this sport, Coach Smallwood. Yes, absolutely. What Ron's doing here at Chambersburg is just phenomenal. Um, he does a good job everywhere he goes. I know your team played in that last year, and uh, it's, it's just great to see all these teams getting out here and playing together. Man, Copley Jackson get the ball in his hands. Good things happening tonight as he buries yet another three, his third of the evening. Copley Jackson is really feeling it. 17 points in the game tonight for Copley Jackson. Certainly a candidate for a Hoffman Ford player of the game after the game. Don't forget, coming up at the conclusion of the game will be our Capital Blue Cross post game and the Hoffman Ford player of the game and Capital Region Insurance Agency play of the game. All still ahead, but I got a lot of basketball to play before that. We're here in the fourth quarter. And I like this guy, Jermair Jones, has really stepped up his game in the second half, hasn't he? He's doing a good job on that block, just fighting for position. He always catches the ball, and he makes good decisions once he does catch it. The foul called against Bassett, and that's his first of the night. Check that rather the foul is going to be called on Copney Jackson. And there is Kelly and back in the game and he was saddled with three fouls in the most of the third quarter. Vassad, once he do right away, gets the rebound. That's Vassad what he does. is their team's leading rebounder. He always gets his arms up and he always rebounds the ball above his head. Thurston Wells picks up his first foul of the evening. So here's Vassad to line. Vassad tonight, nothing out of one from the free throw line and makes this one. You and I talked about it. Uh, you throw the averages away. When it comes down the stretch, who's the player that wants to put it away for you? Absolutely. You always got to have a guy that doesn't mind shooting when, when the grease is hot. Two-point lead. Make it now a three-point lead as Vasa buries both of them. He's got six points in the game. Cedric Vasa, you're not going to see the big numbers up offensively. Where you will see them is the rebounding. He's been doing a good job on both boards. Seven minutes to go in this one, a three-point lead. Another great mid-pen conference matchup here tonight. 
Saw again. Cumberland Valley and Carlisle last week in a four-point barn burner. Here we are again. How about that one? Rattled it down. Kobe, and that was Kofi Jackson again. Kofi Jackson said, hand down, man down. <laughs> <laughs> Great statement, Coach. You throw those hands up, you're not going to keep me from shooting it. <laughs> Stolen away by Thur Thurston Wells. We have a tie score here, under six and a half to play. Kofi Jackson's feeling it. Takes it hard that the glass won't go. Taken back by Carter Fogel, and he quickly gets it up court here for the Trojans. There's only one guy on this team for Chambersburg that really penetrates hard, and that is the guy that has the ball right now, Absolutely. Mr. Bassam. He wants to clear it out. To get that post out of there, I'd like to take a little drive here if I can. Now he flares off a weak side screen. And how about that? Bassett said, time for me to answer, Mr. Jackson. And he buries a three, and we got a timeout on the floor. A three-point lead for Chambersburg with 6.03 to go in this one. This is the High School Sports Live TV Game of the Week right here on Fox 43.2. Everybody knows Hoffman has it. Did you know Hoffman has even more? There's the fully stocked Hoffman Ford Parts and Accessories Department, the Hoffman state-of-the-art collision facility, confidence in our ultra-modern service facility, peace of mind with master technicians, satisfaction with low prices. Do I really need to say it again? Hoffman has it. Only at Hoffman Ford, Colonial Park. Hoffman Ford, just what you're looking for. Hoffman has it. And there is the band. They have been doing a nice job here all night long, and their team's up by three right now. They're pretty happy with six minutes to play. But Bassam, what a shootout here tonight with the guards. Bassam with 19 points. How about Kobe Jackson with 20? Yes, they're both playing very, very good games. Looks like the Panthers got to do a better, good, a better job closing out on uh, Bassam. There's on the perimeter. Going to be tipped out of bounds off the Trojans, so it'll stay with the Panthers here. And here is Elijah Cooper. He said there may be a lot that this young man will do before this game's out. Trying to create the angle there. So important, it's kicked. Looks like he's high, he has switched to a four round one with uh, Anthony Stevens inside. Really working hard. They were working hard this last time down and trying to post up their guy. Here comes Wells. There's Stevens. Check that Stanley, rather. Cooper back out to Wells. Doing a little bit of a kind of a, a handoff here. A little bit of a weave, maybe a pick and roll now, kind of. Like to see a couple cutters There's run Stevens. through the paint. There you pick go. Pick and roll by Stevens. And he, Stevens gets it up. Not going to go, but he gets fouled on the play by Colton Cornwell with his first of the evening. It'll be a two-shot foul. Well, like again, Stevens does all the wonderful little things. Pick and roll there, rolling hard the basket, looking to get the basketball. And he makes free throws, Coach. Two out of four so far tonight. He's made his last two. Big one's here. Okay. And a Stevens up, no good this time. One of the adjustments that uh, Chambersburg made, they put J.J. on Copney. Maybe a little of that size may change some of his shots. Again, Copney's quickness against J.J.'s height, so we'll see what wins out. His second shot missed by Stevens. He's two out of six tonight. Normally a pretty good free throw shooter. Five minutes coming up here. Chambersburg could be a little bit more deliberate here with a three-point lead or not. Long three there, not going to go, but taken down again by who? Mr. Vassa. Another rebound by Vassa. He's got eight points in the game, another stick back. He's been inhaling those boards. <laughs> Again, coach, fundamentally, he does a real good job. He's got both hands up, and he keeps the ball up when he sticks it back. Bassam on the bench here at the moment. Oh, no, he's not. There he is. Okay. And he's going to get called for the foul here. Bassam with his second foul and going hard to the basket. C.D. East and Cooper showing you a little guy knows what to do. He, that was a strong move he's made all night right there. He just exploded. Take that a look at this. Doesn't look like a freshman to me. He's doing a really, really good job. One of the adjustments that the Panthers have made, they're running cutters from the weak side through the middle. Hopefully, they can uh, capitalize and get a bucket. Eight points in the game now for the freshman. And make it nine as he's perfect for the line tonight. No problem there for him. And back to a three-point game he comes. How about that? 
the big guy says, hey, I, not only can I do rebounds and stick them back, I can also make threes. Nice shot. 11 points in the game now for Cedric Vassa. There's that pick and roll again. You got Thurston Wells. Thurston Wells on Nice the, pass. Oh, good interior passing that time. So finishing it off nicely as Stanley would give two in your heart to Wells. Nice cut, Stanley. Way to finish. 51-47, four minutes to play. Tipped away by Wells on the floor. Who's going to get it? It's going to be kicked. And the ball belongs to C.D. East. Tell you what, both these teams get on the floor, get after the ball, a lot of good hustle. Both well coached. Very impressed with both teams here tonight. Impressed the other night with Carlisle and Cumberland Valley. I mean, you look at the quality of play you're seeing here in the mid-pen Commonwealth. Commonwealth. Pretty darn good. Yes, Eats again, running some cutters through the middle. C.D. East has 10 turnovers. Chambersburg has 10 turnovers. There's Wells. Wells on left hand. Wells not going to get this one to go. Tough shot. And it comes. Looks like J.J. Kelly, they missed an opportunity on that in the transition. Pass him. Looking to make a move. He's being jammed now by two guys. He's not being able to crease anybody anymore. There he comes. Pull up, not again. Vassar, can he do it again? Vassar, Vassar. Vassar with a hot hand. Cedric Vassar with two threes in a row. Nice shot by Vassar. 14 points in the game now. Vassar, who's making a bid to be the hopping for a player of the game. I got away with a foul there. Taken down by Carter Fogel. And you got a seven point lead now, the biggest lead of the night so far by either team. Taken away though by Cooper. Cooper, hard to the basket. Cooper up. Cooper in. Big steal here for CDs to keep him alive. Cooper now 10 points in the game. Make that 11. Big play by the freshman. Huge turnaround. Five point lead now by Chambersburg. 238 to play. This is more like the Chambersburg team. I'm used to seeing where the ball's moving. Got Facade down there. He's carrying the hot hand for the moment. And then throws it away. So another turnover here. Two in a row now for Chambersburg. That is not the Chambersburg team you used to see him play. No, no. One hand passes. You don't usually see that out of a Chambersburg team. And again, so important if you're being overplayed to back door as well. And they didn't get the back door there. Sean Schreffler says, let's get the ball back here and uh, do a little bit better job handling the basketball. Here's Fega back in there now. Here's Copney Jackson. He likes to make it happen. Gets jammed. Kicks it back to Fega. Three guys standing on the weak side. Oh, kick for a three. He's got Cooper. Wrong on that was Stanley, rather, and taken back here by Chambersburg ahead to Bassin. Bassin pull, was thinking three pulls up and gets it back out and says we'll work the Smart clock play. a little bit. Smart play. That's why you have a senior out there in that situation. Bassin almost got called for a walk. Back court instead. Another turnover. Three in a row now. Another one hand pass, coach. Yep. I'm sure when they. Watch this film. Coach Schreffler is not going to be happy. Well, he's going to say to his players, we value the possession in this point in the game. You know, we're up right now by three possessions. Yes. Uh, we, we can't be affording to give them back and give them chances. And I'm pretty sure this in coaching. If you have the basketball, the other team doesn't. They can't catch up. It, it can't That's score without sure. the ball. That's right. There's Kobe Jackson again. And Kobe Jackson can't get it to go. It bounces around. Taken by Fogel and foul by Jackson. That's going to be his fourth foul on Kobe Jackson. Copeland Jackson loses a sneaker. He's played hard, though. Oh. That kid has really, really put his heart out there. 20 points in the game here tonight. So we walk all the way back to the other end, and now you've got Carter Fogel, who is a 71% free throw shooter, but he's not been to the line yet this evening. So let's see what he has here. He's got one bucket in the game tonight. Carter Fogel, a six-foot senior. He's their leader in assists and steals. And rolls off the front of the iron coolly. And again, a fourth straight possession with no points for Chambersburg. Vega. Vega. Hard move and to the basket. One. And he gets his first bucket of the night, does Vega. And a big one it is. Make that his second bucket. He's got six points in the game. And he goes to the line with a chance for seven now and pulls his team back within a bucket. Strong move by Vega. Ooh. And that was strong. Little guy went to the basket and said there was no doubt about what he was going to do. Timeout on the floor. Coach Sean Treffler and Chambersburg. 125 to go in this one. Don't you leave. It's 54-51. Chambersburg leads it. This is the High School Sports Live Feed Game of the Week on Fox 43.2. More choices. More laughter. 
more time to play, and less need to worry. At Capital Blue Cross, we're driven by a simple goal, to go the extra mile for you through all of life's ups and downs, and to always be there when you need us. Capital Blue Cross, going the extra mile for you. Here's the situation as you look at a quiet group of uh, Chambersburg fans right now. And that's because their team has thrown the ball away the last four times down. Uh, 54 to 51. It was 54 47. CD is coming back right now. And so Sean Treffler in there. It's not just to see this team do that. He's now down to a one possession game. What are you saying? Take care of the ball. Drive the ball because you're in the bonus. And you've got to make your free throws. CD East is out of timeouts. You so, got to make the right decisions. There you have it. CD East out of timeouts. He come down to the other end now. Vega is going to try to bring it back to a two-point game. And there you see Coach Ryan Hill in his first year at CD East and doing a fine job with this at, at this club. They're going to get better and better. You got to like the Chambersburg team. Both these teams have a lot of good complementary players and some good young players too, Coach. Absolutely. Vega finishes it off. He's three out of three from the line tonight. Okay, a little. Uh, Zone press. Seven points. Make him be a little patient coming up the floor one, here. One, two, two. And if you're not patient, you throw it away. You That's where you want to throw the ball. Get it to Kelly. Come back out it comes. Back to a man. Spread the floor out. Make CDs come out to you a little bit. CDs plays some good defense here. It's Bossom. Bossom gets jammed. Kicks it back out. And another timeout for Sean Schreffler. We'll keep it right here with 59.5 seconds to go. Coach Smallwood, uh, he didn't like what he was seeing there. He was getting a little bit jammed. Talk about that. Coach Schreffler loves order. Chaotic offense doesn't work for him. He wants them to run their pattern. He wants them to cut hard. He wants them to pass the ball sharply. And uh, that's not what they did on the last possession. And that's what he's talking about right now. And it was looking pretty aimless there for a moment. It's ball just getting thrown around. On the other side, Ryan Hill now. His team's on defense. They're down by a bucket. They need to get the ball back. What's he saying? I like that 1-2-2 two, two that they were in. But they've got to do a better job taking away the middle of the floor. Um, I think they'll probably go back to a man-to-man, -man, a straight man-to-man. -man. But uh, in that situation, Chambersburg should drive the ball. Putting pretty good pressure on the ball right here. And I think what they're looking is wait for it hit Bassett's hands if he can get one on one go. But they're doing a good job in the back of coming together. Every time he gets it, it's like they have spies. We're going to come together and make him kick it back out to somebody else. Yes. And, so, that's, and that someone's got to knock it down. Exactly. Bassett wants to handle the ball in this situation. I'm not sure if anybody else does as much. It's not really a wrap on the rest of the team, but Bassam is the ball handler here. He is the focal point of their offense when it comes down here to handling the ball in the last minute in the two-point lead. And they're trying to get it to him, and they don't. Fogel has it. Man-to-man -man by C.D. East. Nick, boy, I'll tell you what, Vega is covering Bassam. He does not want him to handle the basketball. Exactly what we said. Get it the basketball if you're Treffler. Vega says, not my watch. And Vega gets called for the foul, but I love the way he played him there. Yeah, he did. He played him with, with bad intentions. Tried to deny him the ball, then when he caught it, he tried to just be on him like a cheap shirt. Well, here's the book on Bassam at the line tonight. Missed his first four, made his next four, missed his next three, has made his last one. He's got 19 points a game, missed for number 20. Guess what? When it comes time to put it on the line, Mr. Bassam might be a guy you'd like to have up there no matter what he shot all night. Senior year at home, inside a minute. He's got 20. kobe has got 20, the two leading scorers in the game. And Bassett knocks Hit it both. down. 21 points in the game for Bassett. He's made his last three. Two so, possession game here with 46.2 seconds to go. And so you got to come down and think first good rhythm three if you have it. But more importantly, get you need two possessions. So a deuce isn't going to hurt you. Here's Vega. He says, I'll take it. And Vega goes up and draws the foul. And a foul is called against number 12, J.J. Kelly. And that's Kelly's second foul of the night. Two shot foul, and you send the guy to the line here for two, who has not missed yet tonight. Three out of three from the line for Eli Vega, the five foot eight junior. The Trojans just uh, subbed uh, Swasburg in for defense, and uh, East went right by him and got to the rim. What you like here for Vega 
is the fact he's best free throw shooter. You've stopped the clock to score. You've now pulled it back to a one possession game, albeit a three. Now you have a chance to pull it back to a short possession of two if you make this one. East high defense needs a turnover. And he misses that one. So it's a three point game. Very quickly, you want to be on the basketball here, kid. Inside it comes and reverse, and it's going to be off CD East. J.J. Kelly with an ill-advised wraparound pass there, but C.D. East, a little surprised too, it went off them. Coach Schreffler is very, very concerned, particularly about his interior passing. Take care of the basketball if you're Chambersburg. Get the basketball back if you're C.D. East. Watch out for the five-second call here. Almost stepped in bounds on that play to Fogel. And it's tipped away again. East gets the turnover. Wells gets it ahead to Vega. Vega pulls up. Vega kicks it out. Vega, Vega. It's not going to go. Short. It's short. You got a foul. And there is the foul by Stanley as I think they'd probably like to have someone else other than Vega taking that three. Yes. Yes. He does a lot of things really well, but that doesn't seem to be one of the big pluses for him. So now you have a chance to put it in a two possession game here with 10.4 seconds to go. And at the line is J.J. Kelly, only a 54% free throw shooter for the year tonight. Two out of two. Leading scorer, one of the top guys on your team. Gets a chance to knock down two. Only a sophomore. Keep forgetting, he doesn't look, he doesn't play like a sophomore. He's very smooth, looks very confident. Kind of looks like a guy who wants to be there. Here comes another guy who's played an outstanding game tonight. Anthony Stevens into the game. Anthony Stevens, the little big guy. Played a heck of a game. Here's Kelly at the line. Huge free throws here. And Kelly, again, smooth customer here. That's what you expect. He's one of the top two players Has at, at home. He's got to knock him down. A dozen points tonight, a little bit under his average, but he's been solid this evening. Kind of disappears on you every now and then. Yes, you know, he he's does. Not a, he's not a creator. He's kind of a receiver of the basketball. That's the youth. And there it is. 13 points in the game now for Kelly, and now you have a five-point lead, and all you want to do is not foul. Ooh. Oh, what a screen by Steven. Very outside. Good job there by uh, uh, Cooper with a long three. Whoa. Now that was a mid-pin Commonwealth screen. Man, are they. You hope he's okay. Possum checking to make sure all the parts are in place. That was a hard screen. And Bossom playing hard all the time is going to run into that full speed. Take a look at it again. Oh, my goodness. He looked like he may have extended his arms a little bit, too. Stevens called, not called for anything. And then quickly, Elijah Cooper down there for the three. 14 points in the game now for Cooper. 2.2 seconds to go. Hats off to Cooper, coach. That was a huge three. It really was. Boy, we hope Boss was okay. We're going to take a break. We're going to go away for just a moment here. We'll come right back. This is the High School Sports Live TV, Fox 43, 2.2, Game of the Week. Groff Tractor is your full-line equipment dealer representing Case Construction and many other leading brands, serving the total sales, rentals, parts, and service needs of its customer. Students, begin your professional journey in a high-demand field with Groff Tractor. Contact us today to discover the power of our technician internship programs. Groff Tractor also offers scheduled maintenance along with 24-7 emergency service. Groff Tractor is your number one source for everything under construction. Where were you last night? Do you know how embarrassing that was for me? <gasps> no, 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 no. Don't deflect. <sighs> well, that wasn't passive aggressive. Listen, I just need to know that I can trust you're going to be there when I need you. Hello? <gasps> Our money just hung up on me. Not cool. Track your spending with our personal finance tool. Just another way to have better conversations with your money from F&M Trust. Here's the replay of the what some thought was a foul here. Boston got drilled on a pick. And you take a look at it. First look at a good pick. But then he put his arms out there and pushed him away. It was a good pick until he put his arms out and then pushed him down. Yeah, on that screen, Coach, you can't extend your arms. No. And the official didn't call in the back. And then the 
officials calling the three that probably should have had the foul there. So the officials trying to restore some order here. Barry Shipley, Terry Maloney, and Tim Del Jonathan uh, and uh, Ron Corsi restoring a little order there as well. We got 2.2 seconds to go. Chambersburg is going to have the basketball. They have a two point lead, and essentially what they have to do is to get the ball in bounds. Got some extracurricular activity over on the far side. And I think we're going to have a fan ejected right here. Some hot. And we have a fan being ejected. A couple fans, actually. <laughs> Ron Corsi coming over. He is talking to Mr. Bossom, who's over here, who walked out in the court. And now he's saying, time for you to sit down. 2.2 seconds left. We need to finish. We need to get some order and finish the game. Hey, Ron Corsi is a guy who wade right into it, so he's he's going to keep order in his gymnasium. Yeah, when it, when there's chaos, he won't be hard to find. He, <laughs> no, he'll, he'll be right at the center. He'll straighten it out. So now, basically, what you have to do is get the ball to the other end of the court or get it in the hands of someone to wrap it up. Because a foul's coming here if you get in the hands of anybody down there inside. You don't want to throw it away, that's for sure. Looks like everybody's almost face guarding. You almost want to just throw this deep and hope you hit a body. Inbounds, Fogel has it, he gets fouled. 1.2 goes off the clock. And so Fogel will walk back to the other end to try to make this a two possession game and put this one away for Chambersburg. It hasn't been easy down the stretch, that's for sure. It sure hasn't. Looks like Fogel gets an opportunity to wrap this thing up. Fogel for the night, if you're wondering, is nothing out of one from the free throw line. So he's missed his only shot attempt there. So Fogel's shot is up and it's out again. So Hope Springs eternal, even though it's a long shot. Coach, I'm kind of surprised East doesn't have anybody down the floor exactly. to throw the ball to. Right. Unless they're going to, well, they don't have any timeouts. So you can't call timeout. Second shot up, and that's no good. Got to throw it up now. There it is. Let's it go, and it's not going to go. 58 to 56. Chambersburg escapes with the win to go three and one in the Commonwealth Conference. Two and two now for the Panthers. Are going to three and three overall. Chambersburg to seven and three with a tough win down the stretch here tonight. We'll take a break. We'll be right back with our Capital Blue Cross post game analysis, our Capital Region Insurance Agency play of the game, and our Hoffman Ford player of the game. All straight ahead here at High School Sports Live TV on Fox 43.2. Groff Tractor is your full line equipment dealer representing Case Construction and many other leading brands, serving the total sales, rentals, parts, and service needs of its customer. Students, begin your professional journey in a high demand field with Groff Tractor. Contact us today to discover the power of our technician internship programs. Groff Tractor also offers scheduled maintenance along with 24 7 emergency service. Groff Tractor is your number one source for everything under construction. Everybody knows Hoffman has it. Did you know Hoffman has even more? There's the fully stocked Hoffman Ford Parts and Accessories Department, the Hoffman state-of-the-art collision facility, confidence in our ultra-modern service facility, peace of mind with master technicians, satisfaction with low prices. Do I really need to say it again? Hoffman has it. Only at Hoffman Ford, Colonial Park. Hoffman Ford, just what you're looking for. Hoffman Across Pennsylvania, families are living their lives in their own homes. Not long ago, none of these families believed it possible. And then they discovered there was someone who could help. What was once only a dream is now a reality. Welcome home.
the Jet Jim Bobo family of dealerships. Nine great franchises in five locations. Buick GMC, Hyundai, Genesis of York, Stetler Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram, Jim Bobo Hyundai of Hanover, and our newest dealership, Jack Jim Bobo Mazda. The Jim Bobo family of dealerships. Over 30 million in new and pre owned inventory. With a reputation for quality service after the sale, Jim Bobo is proud to serve your community. Find out why. The Jack Jim Bobo family of dealerships. Five great locations. Online at GMBobo.com. More options, less settling, more value, and more smiles. Capital Blue Cross Medicare gives you more opportunities to stay healthy, enjoy life, and be there for the people you love. With more coverage, more benefits, and premiums as low as $0, accepted by top doctors across the country. More ways that Capital Blue Cross Medicare is going the extra mile for you. Getting the money for the RV we've been wanting. I know you're in there, money. They're saying we can get a line of credit based on what we've already paid into our home. Oh, that's pretty clever. Huh? No harm done. <gasps> Borrow from your home with our FlexLock line of credit. Have better conversations with your money with FNM Trust. And welcome back to our Capital Blue Cross post-game report here on Fox 43.2, to 56. A grinder here again tonight. We expected that kind of game. Chambersburg winning at the end, 58-56. to 56. But uh, Gary Sutton, Kurt Smallwood, Jeff Thompson up here with you on our Capital Blue Cross post-game report. And Kurt, you go to that 12-point run that uh, Chambersburg had in the third quarter. They were down. They took a 12-point 12 uh, run. They got like a seven-point lead. All of a sudden, they had new life there. Talk a little bit about that. What turned the game in your opinion? I thought they, they started playing uh, Chambersburg basketball. Bodies moved, ball moved, and they found good shots and knocked them down. I still need to see them as a team make free throws to seal the win. Had a tough time handling the ball down the stretch, Jeff Thompson, to Chambersburg and trying to salt this away. Got a seven-point lead, but they threw away four straight possessions at one point. Oh, those four possessions allowed the, the game to uh, become even again. I, I was impressed with uh, the big guy, Cedric Fassa. He, he hit those two threes during that run, and he's not an outside shooter that, no. that I can see, but they looked awfully good, and that was the difference to me in the game. And I thought on the boards tonight he was dominating. Uh, the two threes there in the late in the fourth quarter really, really came up big. But, you know, you look at the other team here tonight and, and sent it off in East. Terrence Copney Jackson, what a game he played tonight. 20 points. The guy was all over the floor tonight. And then you see Elijah Cooper come in there, 14 points. The freshman off the bench, one under his average for the season. And I thought Thurston Wells tonight with 10 points was really solid. Those three really made this team go. Yes, Elijah Cooper's everything as advertised as a freshman. And, and one of the guys who does not get big numbers on the board, Got to give a shout out there to Eli Vega, the point guard who really does a wonderful job distributing, playing great defense. He did a good job on Bassman tonight, despite the fact that Bassman got 21 points. Uh, he had a good game here this evening. I uh, got J.J. Kelly with 12 points, six under his season average, and Cedric Vassal with 14 points tonight. But we want to turn now to our Capital Blue Cross, uh, uh, in our Capital Blue Cross analysis here, our Capital Region Insurance Agency play of the game. We don't know what that is yet tonight, so Chad Edwards is going to surprise us right here. Here you have it. Some pretty darn good passing tonight. And coach, you were talking about this is Chambersburg basketball That's Chambersburg right here. Chambersburg basketball. That's a hockey assist, isn't it? For bas Take a look at that. Wonderful play, getting it off to Kelly, who ran the floor there. And a good touch pass uh, that time from, I believe it was Carter Vogel or Ari Snyder, one of the two. Now, our capital, uh, in our Capital Blue Cross post game report, uh, we have a Hoffman Ford player of the game. And tonight, we had two players who scored 41 points between them. We talked about Jacob Bass, who certainly was important tonight with 21 points. Terrence Coatney Jackson with 20. But the guy who really did it on the boards tonight, outside, inside with stickbacks, he was the guy that impressed Coach Jeff Thompson tonight. He was Cedric Bassa, and he is our Hoffman Ford player of the game this evening. Take a look at his body of work here tonight. Just a nice a little floater. Just a smooth player inside. You take a look at him. Then he goes outside. This was in the fourth quarter. And gets a rebound, sticks it back. Kept it over his head. He was on the bench for a while with some fouls. He had three fouls for a while. And then this big three in the fourth quarter, the first of two. And he buried another one. It's one of two daggers. Take a look. 
Bassett kicks it back out to him. He's all ready to shoot it and says, I can do it. And both of them just tickled the twine. Cedric Fasada tonight, 14 points, our Hoffman Ford player of the game. I want to thank Ron Corsi up here tonight, the AD, who always is so hospitable to us and is such a good host. I want to thank all the people who helped us tonight on the Invicta crew, uh, Josh Edwards, Chad Edwards back there at the station. And, of course, our, our cohorts here tonight, uh, Jeff Thompson, timeout for Thompson and all his analysis and keeping the stats here tonight, as well as uh, we're talking here about uh, Kirk Smallwood. <laughs> Great analysis. Great thank analysis you. here this evening. Had a wonderful time. Our next broadcast coming up in wrestling is going to be this coming Thursday. It'll be Redland against Lower Dauphin. The next time we'll see you, we got a little backyard brawl coming up with uh, Bishop McDevitt at Steel High coming up on Friday at 735. We'll all be there. Hey, it's been great bringing you this game here tonight. Thanks so much for joining us. Again, your final score, Chambersburg 58, Central Dauphin East 56. See you next time on High School Sports Live TV on Fox 43.2. Have a great evening, everyone.